Welcome on this uh, online course about Shinken. Uh, this one will be uh, about installing we, the web interface, the default web interface for, for Shinken, that's web UI. So web UI is uh, just um, a simple module for one of the Shinken diamonds, the broker, and it uh, can be easily installed with just some few commands. So uh, let's let's try. Oops. So what is available in Shinken.io for web UI? We got the web UI and some uh, some modules. Some are for the authentication files, and some other are about uh, integrate PNP or Graphite uh, Graph. Uh, first, we will install Web UI. It uh, some few megabytes. It's okay. So, the Web UI is code is located there with some Python and some uh, HTML code, and the documentation is there. It's a bit uh, a bit huge, but you got the full description of the parameters there. There is there is no magic. It's quite a lot, but a lot of simple parameters. Uh, we will need the module name to add uh, to declare these modules into the, uh, the the broker diamond. So we will start it. So we declare this module name into the broker module configuration okay it's already done there so just add this and we can restart Shinken. so the broker diamond will be restarted so it will uh, it will load the the new module It's okay. So let's try to see. This is the default port for the web UI. Uh, let's try to see. Is it open? Yes, it's open. So let's try to connect. Okay. So first we came there and we try to login with the admin contact that is there. Okay, so this is the default uh, contact and he got a password, so let's give it a try. Admin. And it failed. Why? Because in fact, the uh, authentication for the web UI is uh, managed by um, modules. Because maybe you want to authentify with um, in uh, CFG file password like this. Maybe you want a HT password like uh, Apache. Maybe you want uh, to authentify by uh, with Active Active Directory. So LDAP. Uh, we will take the simple 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 one. This hot CFG password. You will just take the password field from the contact to, to match the uh, AV password. So it's a module. So if we look if we look at the search that we did before we can find it. It's there. So we will install it. Is very oh, already done. So we need to 
add it into the web UI configuration. Uh, first, we look at its own configuration. In fact, there is nothing, but we need its module name. We will add the module name into the web UI configuration, so into modules, because web UI is a module, but it can load modules. So we just add this. We restart and we will try to authentify again. So this time, this field will be with. We try again. I mean, I know. And it's okay. So, in fact, yep. Better. Uh, we can see uh, our localhost object that we uh, we had the uh, the uh, API last time with uh, some uh, some checks. We will also have. Um, um, this impact view that is currently uh, void because we didn't add some um, important applications. We will add them in, a, in a, an, uh, another course. And we got the dashboard, but with a big weight. Alright. So in fact, uh, the web UI dashboard need to save the user preferences like uh, widgets or, or or parameters, but uh, maybe the, the web UI will be distributed across several servers, and so we need to have uh, bundles to save these uh, parameters into maybe distributed database or local file, whatever. So in fact, these user preferences uh, can be saved into MongoDB or SQLite um, SQLite uh, database, so local SQLite database. So we will first use the simplest way that is SQLite database. So this is not um, a good idea into uh, high availability installations, but uh, for this tutorial it's, uh, it's okay. So let's get back into the Shinken user. We install this module, it's okay. We look at its configurations. So check that the, uh, this path is available. It's okay. With the Shinken users. It's okay. Uh, so we need to add this module into the web UI configurations. So, then we will start. So, in fact, you, you only need to restart the full chink and diamonds only if you uh, change uh, uh, module configurations. You don't need to, to restart all if you just add one host or change uh, a command. So, should be okay. Restart. It's okay, so no more error. We can add new widget, like uh, this one, this one. Oh. Okay, no problem, and just a local host object. So, that's all about uh, about today. So now you got a, a, a web, a web interface with, with uh, your errors and, and things like this. So you can add a new host and uh, start to, to monitor. Uh, the next course will be about the uh, 1.4 uh, migration to the, uh, the 2.0 versions. So see you soon.